Hey, yo, what is up, everybody? What is up? Welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is, y'all. It's LT the God. And today, today I want to give my thoughts on game two between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Indiana Pacers. All right, so now let me get right into this. Jeff Teague, sir. Where is your defense at, my good man? Where? How do you let Kyrie Irving drop 37 points on your head? How? No one was helping. Well, he dropped 37 on Jeff T and Lance Stevens. So let me go ahead and say that. Both of them niggas got dropped the fuck off last night. And Kyrie was just cooking, man. Kyrie was cooking. I mean, he had a lot of help, though. He had 25 from LeBron and 27 from Kevin Love. Meanwhile, Paul George had, what, 32? Paul George had a hell of a game again. Once again, hell of a game for Paul George, where his teammates are nowhere to be found. Well, Jeff T did put in 23. He shot pretty good as well. Thaddeus Young gave him 16. Lance Stevenson came off the bench and scored 13. So they, he did have a little bit of help. But the starters, Monte Ellis had two points with Miles Turner having six. That's just not going to cut it, man. More, more importantly, Miles Turner only had five rebounds, too. Boy, if you don't get your ass in that paint and start getting them boards, you were doing so good in a regular season. You had a few games where you went off for 30 plus. But now you you can't do nothing. You can't get no points. You can't get no boards. And it's coming, boy. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. It's starting to become more and more noticeable that Miles Turner just isn't there yet. All right. It's either that or he's just not ready for this playoff basketball. Or I don't know. Maybe something wrong with the ball. I don't know. But he's got to definitely rebound a little better. As well as Indiana's defense has got to step up, man. I know Cleveland's offense is otherworldly. They got LeBron and all them shooters around them. But, yo, still, man, you guys have got to find ways to not leave shooters open. Like, I don't know what it was, man. That Indiana defense was just lackluster. They let Cleveland shoot 55% from the field. And 42% from three. That's not going to cut it in the long term. Luckily, the next game that they have is going to be in Indiana. So maybe that defense can step up a little more once they're at home. But only time will tell. Now, for Cleveland, you know, their big three score a majority of the points. I mean, they, they did what they were expected to. But I don't know if that's what you want to do going forward. Because, I mean... Usually you want you know guys around them to contribute more as far as scoring. Sometimes take the scoring a little off their shoulder because they already got to do so much on a game-to-game -game basis. So that will be something to look forward to going forward. Just seeing how you know how they can get the other guys involved. Granted, they were playing at home, and usually at home the role players play better. But I mean, you got three scores that can put up buckets so I don't see why that could necessarily be a bad thing I don't know only time will tell right so you know next game I'm expecting out of the Pacers I expect the role players to play a lot better like I said before the role players usually play better on, at home so I'm expecting Indiana's role players to play better as well as Monte Ellis and Miles Turner have got to step up their part of the offense because I mean, granted, the game was close. The, the game isn't as close as the score would indicate just because they were down big at one point in the game. So it was good to see them crawl back, you know, fight back into the game. But still, they were down big at, at one point in the game. And maybe in Indiana that doesn't happen. We'll have to see. But yo, that's enough for me talking. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that sub button you know I post 2k videos NBA videos damn near daily so sub to the channel you know welcome you open arms 
and you guys can get all types of stuff from me if you stuck around this long go ahead hit the like button for me and support you know i'm very appreciative of it and very grateful for those of you who do choose to like the video and also man comment below and let me know what y'all think about this game too and what y'all expecting game three between these two teams all right but yo that's enough of me talking i'll see y'all next video all right peace